Hey guys, my name is That Quite Kid, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform resource based constraint delegation that is RBCD. But before understanding resource based constraint delegation, we need to understand what is delegation and why do we need it. So, if you look at this picture, you can see that there is a client tier, there is an application tier, and there is a data tier. Okay, so in Active Directory, basically, we use Kerberos authentication. And there is an issue with Kerberos authentication that it doesn't work over multiple hops. So whenever there is a hop, Kerberos authentication cannot be used there. So in order to solve this problem, we use delegation. Delegation is basically acting on behalf of others. So let's say the application tier impersonates the client tier, like client tier's credentials and authenticate to data tier to retrieve data. This is what we called uh, unconstrained delegation. Basically, you are acting on behalf of the client tier and authenticating to the data tier. So this is what we call outward delegation and it, will, it is of basically two types, unconstrained and constrained, which we are going to talk about in another video. But in this video, we are going to talk about resource weight constrained delegation, which is the third type of delegation. So unconstrained and constraint are basically outward delegations but resource based constraint delegation is inward delegation that is you are targeting the service principal names of the same computer so let's understand this uh, with a attacker scenario like you will face in an active directory lab or in an environment so i have a user called rbcd which is a normal domain user and I have an like you can see that reachable high value targets zero. It does not have any reachable high value targets. This is my bloodhound. And if you do transitive object control, you can see that it has generic write on a Windows 10.brazoke.local computer. So it has a generic write. So if you have a generic write on a system, you can basically modify the MSDS allowed to act on behalf of other identity attribute and basically impersonate any user, any domain user on that particular system. So basically, if you have generic right, you can gain local admin on that system. Why? I told you if you have if uh, if you can modify the MSDS allowed to act on behalf of others identity attribute of a system, you can basically impersonate any user. That means you can even impersonate domain admins on this particular system and domain admins by default are local admins on the systems. So basically, if you can impersonate a domain admin on this system, you gain local admin access to the system. Then you can basically dump the SAM, LSA and retrieve the credentials. Basically, a admin access to a system through generic right. So there are a few conditions that should be met. First is uh, you should have the machine account quota to create machine accounts because you will be creating a separate machine account and then basically providing that machine account with the delegation rights. So you need to see the machine account quota first. So I have my Kali Linux. Run crack map exec smb 10.0.2.16. I think you use LDAP protocol for machine account quota dash u rbcd dash p uh, password is application dash module machine account quota. Okay, you can see that the machine account quota is set to 10. That is, we can create 10 machine accounts. Any normal domain user can create 10 machine accounts. So we are okay on, in this department that we can create machine accounts. Now let's create a machine account using impacket add computer. And let's let let us name the computer name uh, test and uh, computer password password be test 
एट द रेट वन टू थ्री एक्सक्लेशन साइन एंड डी सी डोमेन कंट्रोलर आई पी विच इज टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट टू डॉट सिक्सटीन एंड द डोमेन इज प्रिजर्क डॉट लोकल स्लैश यूजर वी हैव इज आर बी सी डी so let's create a machine account test with the password test at the rate one two three exclamation sign exclamation sign press enter okay computer password is not oh it's computer pass so it's not computer password but computer pass okay successfully added machine account test with password test at the rate exclamation sign exclamation signs okay now that we have created now we will basically give this machine account that delegation rights because we have you know generic right on that system so we can modify that attribute and we can modify that attribute to include the security descriptor of our newly created machine account run im packet rbcd dash delegate delegate from test our like the machine account we created delegate to uh windows 10 dollar sign is basically used for machine account windows 10 is the name of the system on which we have generic right and a uh, dollar sign is you know to say that it's a machine account dash dc ip domain controller ip is 10.0.2.16 dash action is right and again it's berserk dot local slash rbcd delegation it looks good okay now we have successfully accounts allowed to act on behalf of other identity now we have successfully added the security descriptor of this test dollar sign machine account uh like we have successfully added this uh security descriptor to the msds allowed to act on behalf of others identity attribute of this windows 10 system so we have successfully given uh delegation rights to this newly created machine account now we will try to get the service ticket get service ticket specify the spn service principal name let let us uh, like get the service ticket for a uh, we are targeting a uh, service principal let's say let's target cifs which is common internet file system which is basically used for accessing remote files windows 10. Berserk dot local is the like this Windows 10 dot Berserk dot local is basically the system on which you had generic right, and we are going to impersonate a user called Guts. You know that Guts is a domain admin user, so I told you we are going to impersonate a domain admin, and domain admins by default are local admins. So DC dash IP is ten dot zero dot two dot sixteen, and this time Berserk dot local slash slash test dollar sign test at the rate one two three exclamation sign exclamation sign enter. So we are targeting the CIFS like service principal name. CIFS slash Windows 10 dot Berserk dot local. You can press any Guts user. Okay. Success saving ticket in Guts dot cash. So now we have the cash ticket. We need to export it using export KRB five CC name. Let's export this ticket Guts dot cash. Okay, so now we have the cash ticket of this guts user, and we have exported it. Now, basically, we can impersonate the guts user, which is a domain admin user. 
which is by default a local admin on all the systems we are basically like a local admin on that system to verify this let's run crack map exact smb 10.0.2.28 dash uh, dash use cache okay as you can see pawn means we have like high privileged access on that particular system now when you have this like pawn you can basically like dump the sam let's dump the sam this is the local hashes okay now you have successfully dumped the administrator hash okay so now if you want you can try to log in as administrator on that system using this hash i think we can use m packet uh, wmi exec let me see the syntax okay so it requires hashes both lm and anti hash so need to copy the whole hash hashes okay and uh, domain berserk dot local slash username was administrator at the rate target is 10 dot 0 dot 2 dot 28 okay now let's say who am i okay you can see that we are administrator on that windows 10 host host name is windows 10 so in this way you can see that we can basically exploit generic right to gain local admin access on a system by by exploiting rbcd so that's it for this video and thank you for watching